Hello everyone, it is Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the video, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Another quick instructional video uh, for people out there who are new to Rhythmic and R-Trader Pro, the software uh, that they offer. I uh, wanted to show you how to set up a chart. A simple video, but uh, I know for first time users, everything isn't as intuitive as it seems it should be. Uh, so let's take a look at how you do that. So we're currently looking at R-Trader Pro. Um, so depending on who you're with specifically, this sort of dashboard in a sense will look possibly slightly different. You might have different icons on the left. You might have no icons. Everything you need can be accessed through the menu. So don't worry if you have slightly different um, icons. So I do have a charts icon. We could come here to set up a new chart or you can go file charts. So we'll just go here. Okay, so that brings up a completely blank chart. So the first thing you need to do is basically tell it what you need. Now, uh, you need to know your symbol and your exchange. You can kind of see it here in light gray. Now, you may or may not know that. After a while, you'll get familiar with the exact naming. So for example, I know how to type in to bring up the Ultrabond, for example, which is a product that I trade, or NQ. I know exactly what to type. But if it's your first time, you might have no idea. I remember the first time I started this, I just stared at this for a minute like, what do I even do? I have no idea. And if you type this wrong, it doesn't necessarily fix it for you or tell you what it should be. So you're kind of left to your own devices. If you double click right here on symbol exchange, it will actually bring up a search box that you can use to look up what you need. Uh, it has a bunch of the markets here or you could search as well. So for example, maybe we look at CBOT and like I said, I trade uh, treasuries. Maybe I'm going to trade the 30 year bond. So right here, I could double click this and it will bring up a list of uh, products. Now, there's more here than you most likely need. There's kind of the raw product, if you will. Then there's the next several uh, contract months. So this would be like June, September's, December's. Um, there's also strategies. Uh, these are spreads, essentially. I'm not interested in those. I just kind of want the front month. So I would choose uh, June's contract. You can double click on it. Now, one thing also, I kind of had to learn the hard way is that when you double click on it, it populates your chart. You kind of saw that in the background. But if you have this maximized, you wouldn't know that. So we, I would click here and nothing would happen. And I'd try again and nothing would happen. And I just was confused. I didn't know what to happen. Uh, if you click on add, same thing. I mean, it's the same as double clicking. You have to actually close this. I'm just going to minimize this for now. And you see it's populated. So after a while, you do learn kind of the naming convention. It's the product code, the month code, the year, period, and then your exchange, CBOT, CME, NYMEX, etc. So once you learn it, it becomes pretty natural just to type it in. That's what I do at this point. But you wouldn't know that originally. Okay, guys, so let's just do one more example. I'm going to double click here. Uh, let's say we want to bring up ES, and I have no idea which market it is in, and rather than try to navigate through these. Um, I want to trade ES, or yeah, I want to bring up ES. I want to trade ES. I don't know which market it is, but I also don't want it to search through 20 million different products that all have the letters ES in them. Um, so I type ESM1. I know that that'll at least help us narrow it down, hit enter, or hit the search still over a thousand results but here we go and right up top we can get the front month or you could actually just choose the specific month and here we see it's cme obviously so uh let's double click this again this box doesn't go away but we see in the background here it did actually populate the chart so kind of wish this went away after double clicking but uh nonetheless we can close this now and here we go we have our esm1.cme so Again, once you kind of figure out which markets each products are in and the month codes, it's a little bit easier just to go ahead and type these in manually, but that search function is always there. That's basically how you set up a chart, add a product to a chart, guys. Um, in terms of using the chart tools and indicators and whatnot, I honestly don't do much in our Trader Pro beyond what we just did right there. I use other products to actually trade. Uh, namely like Jigsaw Day Trader. So you do have a full access to drawing and annotations, all the different indicators and whatnot here. So I would encourage you to explore here. It's all in the menu, pretty much everything you would be accustomed to doing, scaling, etc. Uh, so explore those. One thing I will show you is if you click on show trade bar, it will pop up over here. Uh, you do have to change your quantity. It'll default to zero. And then you have options here to trade 
and you can also adjust a few of the things right here on this bar instead of the menu for example maybe you want it to be just 60 periods rather than the 480 that it defaulted to um, and maybe you're trading in the evening so you don't this is kind of the u.s market hours if you uncheck this it will show then all hours so, and actually i am currently in the evening and that's why this changed because if i hit uh, 6 30 to 3 15 which is 1 15 p.m pacific time uh, this is basically the end of the prior day unchecking this this now shows the actual current time and you see the chart moving here so i will leave you with that guys quick tutorial just on how to get a chart up and running in rhythmic hopefully that helps someone out uh, if you have any questions feel free to email me like i said i'm definitely no pro when it comes to our trader pro but i might know enough to get you started or point you in the right direction uh, if you go to my website on the contact page is all my information on how to get a hold of me thanks so much for watching the video be sure to subscribe and I will see you in another video.